Hello, this is Cameron Brewer, and I'm here to present the second podcast in the Verilux S-Series podcast. Uh, the first one was from Kelly Smoyer, and she presented nanoptics technology. Again, the second one will be on synchronized technology. And the third one was also presented by Kelly, and it uh, went over 4D technology. So let's get started and learn more about synchronized technology. Just as we started the nanoptics slides and presentation with patient quotes, we wanted to do the same thing with synchronized. This helps go back to that live optics process. The patient's need uh, is at the heart of all of our Verilux designs. The patient quote uh, at the top says, I don't enjoy reading anymore because I can't see the entire page when I read. This is uh, referring to what we hear from opticians sometimes describe the, the sweet spot that area of the lens that's clear, but if they move their head slightly out of it, um, they can't see. And a lot of times this feels very limited and narrow uh, for our patients. So they don't enjoy reading anymore. So that's a need. Uh, and then one of the other needs and quotes that we heard was, my vision is limited. I just can't see like I used to. What I like to do when I present this is to ask uh, the audience how they've experienced limited vision when wearing progressive lenses. Maybe they have a great story that they can add to this and share their own experience. The point of it is that the synchronized technology is based on true patient needs. If you were to ask your audience to raise your hand if they've ever heard something similar to this, I guarantee you're going to have raised hands. This isn't something that's new that we've created. This is a real need that we wanted to have a solution for. So with synchronized technology, what's so special about it is that we can provide binocular vision for the first time. And it's, it's true binocular vision. Um, we've started down the past um, on binocular, and that's not a new word. Your ECPs will have heard that before, but we haven't been able to really provide true binocular vision ever. And no one else has either. It's with the new patents that we can actually deliver on what we've been trying to improve all along. In the past, what we would do is try and make the designs for the left and the right eye as symmetrical as possible. So if I'm looking to the right or to the left, and one eye is viewing nasal and the other is viewing temple, it, that symmetrical vision, we would try and widen, widen that design, but we were limited in what we could do. With synchronized technology, we're making sure that we gather the full RX for the left lens, the full RX for the right lens, and then we're creating a similar design for both lenses at once. So it's simultaneous to make sure that they both have, um, it's not just symmetrical, but it's the same design for both eyes. What this does for our patients is it helps both eyes to work together as one visual system. So you're not having one eye hit distortion and the others in that central viewing area. When they work together as one system, it provides that expansive vision. Now, on the screen, we also have that the result is edge-to-edge -edge clarity in every gaze direction. I want to talk about this just a little bit. Um, the edge-to-edge -edge clarity in every gaze direction is what happens when your patients put their lenses on. This is what they're going to view because both eyes are seeing the same thing. It doesn't mean that if I hold the lenses out in front of me and I'm looking at them, um, I, I won't notice that it's a progressive lens. It's still a progressive lens, but when it's worn by the patient, with both eyes working together, that's what gives that edge-to-edge -edge clarity. This is important to keep in mind as we go on to the next slides. What you're seeing on the top is a digital progressive. Um, and as we go through the next three slides, the difference between the left uh, lens and the right lens, and the, the left RX and the right RX, is going to differ. It's going to become a bigger difference between the two eyes as we go forward. This slide isn't the same as the nanoptic slide with the stairs where we went from a 1-add to a 2-add to a 3-add. What this is illustrating is that as the difference between the two eyes increases with progressives in the past and competitive lenses, that difference led to narrow vision. The reason why is that the design for the left lens was different from the design from the right lens because they were manufactured at a, a separate time. When they're not viewing the same thing, and as you can see here, uh, with the right lens, it's hitting this distortion area. 
when it hit, hits that optical blur and then the left eye is hitting the central viewing area, what this causes for a patient when they wear their lenses is that limited vision. That's what creates that small area that they have to view out of in order to be able to see. With synchronized technology in the lower portion of the screen, it's the same difference between the right and left Rx, but what you'll see is the design is, is similar for both eyes so that they're both viewing that central viewing zone. When they're both hitting that clear area, what this means for our patients is that that's when they get that edge-to-edge -edge clarity. That's when they have that expansive vision. As we increase the difference between the two eyes, you'll see that it starts to get more uh, limited and narrow at the top. Uh, and again, down at the bottom with synchronized technology because we're making sure that it's true binocular vision, both eyes are seeing the same um, clarity and the same image. Versus at the top, um, you start to see this optical target for the right eye gets further and further down into the distortion area. The third slide, this is the greatest difference between the two eyes. Um, also the, the most limited picture at the top versus at the bottom, it's edge to edge in that expansive vision. Now, if I were to move this optical target for the barrel access series to the very far left or to the center, or even if I moved it down to this corner, as those optical targets um, moved, they'd still be balanced. So even if they were both hitting this distortion in the lower area of the lens, they would both be hitting the distortion. And even with both of them hitting that area, it's still going to provide wider fields of vision for our patient because they're balanced. And again, your eyes aren't fighting against each other. So the outcome for our patients is that your left and your right eye work together as one visual system. This is what provides them the edge-to-edge -edge clarity when they put their lenses on and they're viewing the world around them. Now, edge-to-edge -edge clarity and expansive vision, these are all things that, that help tie back to those quotes at the beginning. Uh, I feel limited when I read. I can't see as well as I used to. We encourage our ECPs that when they're talking about synchronized technology, have them ask their patients how they experience limited vision and then they can talk through it and tie it back to that need and how this can help overcome that. As far as our wearers test, um, the, the wearers noticed the largest improvement in the intermediate zone. Uh, they noticed an improvement in all areas of the lens, and this is something that we've never had before, but that real wow factor occurred in the intermediate. In the past, this is the, the area where patients tend to notice that a lens is narrow or there's a lot of non-adapts. Patients just typically notice the intermediate the most out of any lens. And they notice the best and the widest improvements in this intermediate zone. Now, nanoptics technology and synchronized technology are both going to be found in the Verilux S design and the Verilux S fit. These two technologies are also in the Verilux S4D lens, but I wanted to point out that with Verilux S Fit, it's not like it has two, two technologies and Verilux S Design only has one. All of the lenses will benefit from nanoptics and synchronized technology. The difference with Fit is that now we're providing those personalized measurements of the position of wear, such as panoscopic tilt, vertex, and wrap. As far as the overall wearer test, uh, our patients said 95% of them rated their overall vision as excellent. When they had a choice to rate their lenses, they picked the very highest praise that they could give this lens. It wasn't just acceptable, that they could adapt to it, that it was okay, but they rated it as excellent. So this is, um, again, something that we've never had before. So we're all very excited about the wearer test results. So that concludes the second podcast covering synchronized technology. If you have any other questions, uh, please let the Verilux marketing team know. And you can also hear more about nanoptics technology in the first podcast and 4G technology in the third podcast. Thanks for joining, and I hope you enjoyed the podcast.